it's D-line time. Right now we're doing D-lines. So <laughs> it's a little tough to do, I have to admit. D-lines are a lot harder to rank than uh, offensive lines because offensive lines, I watch a lot of offensive lines. Defensive lines, I still watch. A lot harder to grade, though. Either way, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video. <laughs>
The Bucks D line is good. Nadama can shoot Vita Vea, William Golston, all those guys are really good. Patrick O'Connor, Steve McClendon, Rakeem Nunez Roaches. You guys might not, not go no, those guys, but when they're out there, they're awesome. They get an S, it's just so good. Niners, they're another S. These D lines are just crazy. If I okay, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about where are they? Oh, where are the Niners? Either way. The Niners, okay. So the Niners have Eric Armstead, uh, D. Ford, Javon Kinlaw, DJ Jones, Katarius Street, and um, Kevin Gibbons, Nick Bosa, Samson Ebucom. Man, it's depth. It's it's not the best D-line in the NFL anymore, but it's still a great, pretty darn good D-line. It's super talented. If they still had the fours and the Buckner, it would be the best, and it wouldn't really be even close. Falcons time. The Falcons, um... Falcons isn't, isn't bad. Like Jonathan Bullard, it's just it's a mess on this side. J uh, but but then you have Jacob Tuuti Mariner, who's actually not that bad. Brandon Copeland also. Uh, I mean, it's actually yeah, it's a it, it is a three four. Jonathan Bullard, he actually decided that um he did actually like decided to play good because first couple of games uh, Arthur Smith like got to pick it up, so he picked it up. He's playing well. Uh, Tyler Davidson and Grady Jarrett, two really good players. Marlon Davidson also good. I give it a B. It's not an A. Just not great. Typically, that they have some really good players. They just don't have anyone group. like they have more really good player in Grady Jarrett, but that's like kind of it. Now we go to the Ravens. Ravens, I'd give this an A. Calais Campbell, Brandon Williams, two of the best of the positions. Derek Wolf's good too. Just all above average guys. Uh, Calais Campbell being an absolute monster in the run game. Not he, he kind of lost that pass rush part of him that made him one of the best edge um pass rushers in the NFL. Now we go to the Bears. Bears really good. Akeem Hicks, Eddie Goldman, Billy Lyle Nichols, and then like the Ravens. Ravens actually have depth. I forgot to talk about those guys because I'm so upset for the other guys. Either way, Mario Edwards Jr., Chris Toga, and a Angela Blackson. They're not great players, but they're good. It's a B. No, it's an A. <laughs> Another really good D line. These D lines are just really good, but they have a lot of these teams have backup, so you can't. You got to realize that too. They're gonna play better when they have backup, but that's just, I can't. People just gotta realize these teams are still really good um, D lines. Trey Hendricks, Cam Hubbard, uh, BJ Hill, um, Cam uh, Sample, they're all really good players again. Joseph Osai on the IR, but he's still a really good player. DJ Reader, Larry and Joby, Josh uh, Tupio, and Tyler uh, Shelton. It's a really good D line. I can't give it an A because they don't have a superstar, but it's still a really good D line. T Cowboys. Cowboys are really bad. They don't have a good D line. Like, can't call Demarcus Lawrence bad, but he's their only good one. Like Oza, um, Ozzy Winga is not good. Neville Gallimore's terrible. Brett Urban's really bad. Randy Gregory, when he's out there, I really don't know. It's a D. I can't give it an F because they have actually some good players. Texans, I can't give it an F because they really don't have anyone. Like Ross Blacklock, I I don't know if he's on the D line anymore. He might be. Ross Blacklock is maybe their best de defensive player. No, I'm joking. But either way. He's, he might be their best D-lineman. Isn't he on there? No, it's Malik Collins. Whitney Merciless is on the D-line now? Okay, and Vincent Taylor. Yeah, that's an F. Um, Whitney Merciless is not deep on the D-line. Um, Ross Bass, Blacklock, and Malik Collins. They're not bad players. They're just not great. Vincent Taylor is what I'm like. That, they're just going to get messed up on that right side. They can't, they're not going to stop the run. They're not going to be on anything. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, you could be say, be saying I'm a little bit harsh. I'm not. Like, trust me, their D line is gonna be terrible. They they're not gonna be able to move any type of file. Colts, Colts D line is really good. Quiddy Pay, uh, Kamoko Toure, somewhat, and then Ben Bonogo, really good players. Um, DeForest Buckner, Grover Stewart, really good player. Antoine Woods, a good player. Uh, Traquan Lewis, Alquan Muhammad. It's an AD line. It's not an. It's not super. It's. I can't give it the. What I want to give them, but they they still get a good grade. Uh, Rams, Rams D line, it's regressed a little. I have to admit that not as bad as some of their other positions. It's gonna, their defense could still be it could be even better than they were last year. I'm, I don't really know to tell you the truth. It'd be tough, but Asian Robinson a really good player. Jonah Williams, he's another good guy that's gonna be out there and he's gonna play well. Sebastian Joseph Day, Greg Gaines, Bobby Brown, all these guys are death players. Aaron Donald, we don't need to talk about him. It's a, it's it's a B. No, it's, I can't give him an A. I gotta give him an A. Here's why. 
Aaron Donald. No, I'm gonna give him a bit. They don't have a ton. No, I want. You know, what? I'm just gonna give him an A. I'm gonna give him an A. They deserve it. Heck no. But Aaron Donald is the best defense player in the NFL. When you have him and then two above average starters and decent depth, you're gonna get an A. They're not. The, they're not as good as the Niners. I have to admit that the Niners have a much better D line than the Rams. But what with the guys the Rams have on that D line, you can. It, it would just be disrespectful to give them anything but less than an A. They're not a super star D line, but. Because there's other teams that have a lot more work on it. Jerry Tillery, uh, Linval Joseph, Justin Jones, Christian Covington. This D-line gets a uh, C. Here's why. None of those guys are great. None of those guys are superstars. Some of them are good. Justin Jones, Linval jo Joseph, Jer uh, Jerry Tillery. I only named four guys. They have no depth. That's where they get the C. The guys are good. They're just, they're not, like, they have no depth. That's their problem. Chiefs. Chiefs are very, their D-line's a mess. Just simply that. It's a mess. That's all I really got to say about it. Uh, Chris Jones, he's now an edge man, I guess. Uh, Jaron Reed, Derek Nottie, because they want to put him in finally. And then Frank Clark, they're all good players. Alex Okafor is not bad. Mike Dan is not bad. Tishan Warren is good. And then Kalen Saunders. I'm going to give him a B. They can stop the run. Their linebackers are their problem. And for that reason, they get a B. It's not a bad D-line. It's actually pretty good. They have some really good players on it. But I can't give them anything above that. The Saints really lost. That's where they took the bullet. Like, Cameron Jordan, great player. Malcolm Roach, eh. Daniel Adamano, when he got David Adamano, he'll save the deal. Uh, the deal tackles. Shy Tuttle will actually be out there fine. Marcus Davenport's going to have to finally play well. Payne Turner's going to have to go out there. And Carl Grand Granderson's going to be fine. They get a, they're going to get a B. They have two real, they have depth, and it's actually not a bad offensive line. With David Onyemati, maybe it's an A. But they just have a ton of talent there still. But they, if they had saw Trey Anderson, it would be one of the best D lines in the NFL. The Giants D line is honestly pretty good. I'd give it a B. Just simply like looking at the Giants, like who do they have? Oh yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, they definitely get a B. Uh, B. But then you gotta like look deeper. You can't just look on the exterior. Like Dexter Lawrence, good player. Leonard Williams, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. Austin Johnson was looked awesome preseason. And Danny Shelton looked really good in preseason again. And then of course you have Raymond Johnson the third. He's not great, but whatever. They get a B. They have a really strong D line, and that's simply it. Eagles. Eagles are hard to grade. No, it's really not. They have another good D-line. So there's so many good D-lines in the NFL. Their key is getting to the quarterback and stopping the run. Brandon, Brandon Graham with uh, Ryan Kerrigan's really good. Derek Barnett's not a pass rusher, but he's a good run stuffer. Josh Sweat's not bad. Javon Hargrave, Fletcher Cox. They really don't have much depth to D-tackle. I really don't care. They, that's their best position. Their, their trenches are really good. I still have to admit that. Still really not... It's still, it's still, it's still like there. You gotta remember that. They're, they might not have the talent they used to have, but they still have the trenches are still there. And then we go to the D line for a team that's really good. Say the Savant too, it's in there. This team's an A. This team's S. They're uh, or an A for D line. They're getting a B. Here's why. Cameron Hayward, Tyson, a little, little good player. No, they're getting an A still. Chris Wormley's not a bad player. Is he good? Heck no. Is he bad? No. <laughs> so that's what he gets. Broncos, um, I'm just going to say really quick on the Broncos, is Von Miller on their D-line. Thank gosh. Mike Purcell is the only, in uh, DeMonte Jones, Shelby Harris, Jamar Steven, Deshaun Williams. I go, I'm going to give him a C just straight off the bat. Like, Mike Pur Purcell is not bad. Deshaun Williams is not bad. DeMond Jones is weird, to say the least. least. Uh, Kevin, um, Shelby Harris is not bad. Uh, McKelvin Agum, oof. He, he might be rough, but either way, Packers. Ugh. Ugh. This is actually kind of painful. Either way. Where are the Packers? Okay. Packers, D line. Um, Dean Lowry, uh, Kingsley Kiki, and Kenny Clark are all good players. Tyler Lancaster, Jack Helsland is good. TJ Slotin is not great. They have two good players. I'm going to give him a B. Kenny Clark's one of the best two tackles in the league. That's about it, though. When it comes to superstars, the other guys are pretty boring, but they're not bad. They have depth there, too. Panthers. Panthers' D-line is, is absolutely awesome. It could, it's not going to get an A, though. Here's why. Their guys are young, and they make a lot of mistakes. Ryan Burns, don't really talk about him. He's awesome. Derek Brown, he's going to make mistakes, but he's a good player. Dequan Jones, always been a good player. Morgan Fox, for sure, Gross Montes. Davion Nixon, Bravian Roy. 
it's it's a really good. They're getting a B. Can't give them an A. Here's why: they do not have the technique to get an A. If those guys are fundamentally sound, they'd be in super. They, they're on the right track, though. I gotta admit that. I like what they're doing with that D line. D line. Okay. After that, we go to Vegas. Vegas. Oof. It's really hard to actually grade them. Cleveland Farrell. Not bad. He's been okay his whole career. Third overall pick, probably not deserve that. Um, Max Crosby, Max Crosby, really good player, edge rusher. Quentin Jefferson, uh, Jonathan and Solomon Thomas, Gerald McCoy. It's it's a really good D tackles. Jonathan Ngakwe, Jonathan Ngakwe and Carl Nassib are two really good players. They're getting a B. No, they're getting an A. Here's why. Jonathan Ngakwe is a really good D tackle. They're better than a B. They're, the way I gotta give them an A because they have so much depth. Washington, Washington D line. Uh, yeah. Um, don't. Not, I'm not even gonna talk about them. They're the best in the league. And excuse the racist logo. To any person who uh, to, who is against that. Either way. Uh, JJ Watt, uh, Leaky uh, Foti, Rashawn Lawrence, uh, Corey Peters, Jordan Phillips, who's on IR, and Zach Allen. It's a B. Can't give them an A yet because they don't really deserve it, but it's still a really good D-line. Uh, next, Bills. Bills, uh, Bills, Jerry Hughes, Mario Addison, A.J. Epineza, Gregory Russo, Starlet Tuhle, Ed Oliver, Vernon Butler, Justin Zimmer. I don't really need to talk anymore. It's a, it's an A D-line. It's a really good D-line, too. Uh, yeah. Seahawks. Eh. It's like, man, that's about what it is. LJ Collier, who's actually decided to not be as bad as he was in 2019, but whatever. Puna Ford, Al, um, Al Woods, Car uh, Carlos Dunlap, they're not bad. They just don't have depth. Brenton Mayo at Rasheem Green, they're not great. You're going to still give them a B because it's meh, it's not exciting, but, Car but they still have a good deal on you have to realize that. Their guys are on there. They're underrated. Uh, Jets. Jets are tough to grade. Really tough. Because they traded Shaq Lawson. They exchanged Shaq Lawson with Carl Lawson. Because Shaq Carl Lawson got hurt. It's really confusing. Not the Eagles. Jets. Um, John Franklin Myers. Quentin Williams. And Bryce uh, Huff, Shaq Lawson, of course, Jonathan Marshall, Sheldon Rankins. It's gonna be a B. It's still a good. It's a, it's really good D line, honestly. Not bad. Patriots, on the other hand, is not great to say the least. The Patriots D line is weak, and that's just the truth. Dietrich Wise is not great. Uh, Henry Anderson not great. Chase Winovich not great. Lawrence Guy not great. De uh, Devon Gotcha, I like him. He's just not great. Christian Barmore will be one of the starters sooner or later. Carl Davis, meh. They're getting a C. Like, there's nothing there for pass rush rushers. It's still not bad because they do stop the run. But that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And yeah, please like, subscribe, and enjoy the video.